get my mother onto the fifth estate, I mean, even saying it sounds a little ridiculous, I know, I had to pretend she was a man. That's how I got her on. Uh, I'd done a couple of items for the fifth estate, and the executive producer, Glenn Sardi, said to me, listen, uh, you're going to do this thing on breast cancer. We're a little short of researchers. Do you have anybody in your back pocket? Well, my late mother was way overqualified to be a researcher. She'd been a magazine editor during the Second World War and, and an author of books and so on. My father had just died the year before, and my mother was flailing around, so I said to her, listen, um, why didn't you work, try this? Work, work with me on this thing. And um, I went to Glenn, I said, well, my mother's maiden name was Rose Morgan. So I said, there's this guy. His name is Ross Morgan, and uh, he's terrific, and he's available. <laughs> And so uh, Ross Morgan, who never came into the office, operated from home, and I began to do this thing on breast cancer, which uh, ultimately became four women, the first fifth estate to go to an hour, and the first fifth estate to win an Emmy Award. And ultimately, this program is about what happens when men and women slowly realize that problems of squeamishness and vanity pale beside a far worse fear, that of dying from cancer. And my mother had breast cancer, and it was a deep, dark secret. Nobody knew this. But, of course, there was a special empathy that my mother had in dealing with the, 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 the patients, uh, since she herself was a sufferer. And um, then at some point, the, you know, they, they started to look at the footage, and they said, who? We could use an extra researcher. Who is this person? Can, why didn't you ever bring Ross Morgan into the office, the Fifth Estate office? So I had to... I had to, she, she came out of the closet, and boy were they surprised. A mother, son, producing team, well, it's only because half of the film had already been shot and it looked pretty good that they realized uh, that, uh, strange as it seemed, this is probably a working team. She had a kind of genius. She was an extremely empathetic person. And I, I, she was so good at, 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 at bonding with people and making contact with people. And she was my, my influence. I, I, I could just see in, in life, not in documentaries, how, how she could, people would, would tell her their secrets, would unburden themselves to my mother. And I watched this so many times, and I guess I absorbed some of this. Um, and unconsciously began to use it in, in my own interview techniques, you know, because she was, she was, anybody became fascinating uh, when, when they talked to my mother. She was so good at this. And we were such a great team, I think, for the Fifth Estate for that reason. We both, we both were like-minded in terms of drawing out people, often people who'd been through incredibly painful ordeals who really didn't want to talk about it, but somehow we managed to, to get them talking.